Hey y'all, so I'm back with another perfume review and I'm actually excited about this one. Here's the reason why. Because Fenty, my girl Rihanna, our girl Rihanna, those who love Riri, she has this new fragrance that might I add everyone had been raving over for a very long time when she first released it, right? So I always wait until enough people have reviewed something before I decide that I want to jump in and get it too. So I didn't get it the first go round. She sold out and she restocked it. So when she restocked it, I said, you know what? Let me see what this hype is all about. Let me see if it's giving everything that needs to be gave, right? So I am doing a blind purchase, which I typically don't even like to do just because I like to smell fragrances before I wear them. But I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get this and I'm going to see what it's giving. I then went on to Google reviews, right? Saw all these horrible reviews about it smells like a grandmother's fragrance. It doesn't smell good. The people are upset about it. Say Riri need to go back to the drawing board. And listen, I stand by all her makeup, all her products, everything that she releases. I love it. Savage X Fenty, you name it, I love it because I feel like she does great with branding and even just with her promotion and her pieces. So I like her products. So I said, I'm not going to judge what these other people are saying. I'm going to get it for myself. I'm going to do a live review of my reaction to this fragrance and we're going to see what it's giving because maybe you all might want to get it for yourself. So here we go. This is the box that came in. This is Fenty. We are going to see it's such an attractive bottle. I like the color. We're going to see what the smell is giving and we can go from there. Y'all I'm nervous. Okay, let's see. is strong hold on give me a second let me let it let me let it settle a little bit i'm gonna have to spray this one again y'all give me a second lord have mercy please don't let this be a bad fragrance i'm gonna be so hurt because i was so pressed to get this let's see Okay, so my honest opinion of this, it smells kind of medicinal the way that it first sprays out. Um, but as it wears, and I'm smelling it on the opposite end of my skin, I'm going to say prematurely because I like to let fragrances settle throughout the day before I make a real opinion about them. But I'm going to say that with just a couple seconds of wear now that I have on, this one is almost close to a minute. I'm going to say that this is a... It's a medium smell. It's not too it's not too strong and it's also not a soft fragrance either. The undertone of it is a bit woodsy. And I, that's what I smell. I smell woodsy. It kind of gives like a musk, but it's not bad. And for me to have sinuses right now and still be able to smell this, I know it's a little bit stronger than soft, but it's not as strong as something hard or loud. So I'm going to say I would give this fragrance right now, I would give it an 8 out of a 10. And that's just because I like for it to wear. I'll come back in my stories probably tomorrow and let you all know how it wears once I get Christmas shopping and get running around in a little bit. But so far, like I said, the first spray out, it smells medicinal. But when you let it wear a little bit, it gives a woodsy, must kind of smell. I don't think it smells like a grandmother. I'll say that. And no offense, grandmas, because you guys are flies and fabulous too. But I'm just saying, I don't think that the reviews that I saw, it doesn't give me a harsh smell where I wouldn't wear it again. I just want to be able to give you a real opinion about it as it wears throughout the day. But as I stated, woodsy, a little musk. It's not real strong. It's definitely a winter fall fragrance for sure. And I also feel like I'm actually liking the way that it's wearing while as I'm talking to you all. It, it's giving me kind of like fresh outdoors kind of like that vibe but it's still feminine if that makes sense if you're a perfume connoisseur you'll understand what i'm saying if you're not i don't have one that i can think right off hand to compare it to but i will say that it's not harsh and it's not unattractive i actually like the smell so i would give this an eight out of ten here's the bottle here's the logo on it which i think is very beautiful and here's the box that it came in. 
so far so good. I will review it again and put it in my stories tomorrow, but I do not dislike this Fenty fragrance. So try it out at your local Sephora or wherever you get your perfumes from. Talk to you guys in the next one.